I'm delighted to be joined now by Sean Kelly of My Cullen, ahead of the AIB GA All Ireland Senior Football Championship semi final, which takes place this Sunday, January 8th, against Watty Graham's Glen of Derry at Croke Park, 3 30 pm. The AIB GA All Ireland Club Championship features some of hashtag the toughest players from communities all across Ireland. It's these very communities that the players represent that make the AIB GA All Ireland Club Championships unique. Now in its 32nd year support of the AIB Club Championships, AIB is extremely proud to once again celebrate the communities that play such a role in sustaining our national games. Uh, Sean, it's the first time back at Croke Park, um, I suppose, in anger since the All-Ireland final. How excited are you? Yeah, obviously, uh, like, seriously excited, to be honest. It was a, it was a well, talking about All-Ireland now, it was a tough loss, it was a disappointment, but going back there with the club now is a special occasion and it's something uh, something I'm looking forward to and I say all of us are looking forward to. And what's the, the crack like in my colouring at the moment? Are the colours up everywhere? Oh yeah, green and white flags everywhere. I say if you walk in, you're in the parish, someone's wishing you a good luck or shouting at the window at you. So it's, uh, it is special and it's uh, you see what it does for the parish as well. There's been a smile on everyone and everyone's just excited for it as well. So Mm. And especially after a couple of years ago, during the pandemic, there was no provincial championship when you won that that elusive county title. I'd say you were a bit frustrated in some respects back then, but brilliant that you can come out and uh, and kick on this time. Exactly. Oh, we knew at the time it wasn't happening, so it was like we understood like at the, at the time our main goal was to win a club first first for the club's history. So it was a uh, winning the Galway one was just a massive achievement in itself. So going on now to Connacht, we, we know how special it is as well, and we were just kind of chomping it a bit to get going really. And you saw against Westport, we probably played our best attacking football. I say probably all year in terms of what, what we scored, how we played. So it's a, it was, we were kind of ready for it. We were looking forward to it. And thankfully we got a good result that day and we've kicked on since. And did you kind of feel after winning it again this time, Galway, again this time, that there's there's more gears in this team that you can go on and go further? Definitely, yeah. There's there's a good belief in the squad, but we know ourselves we're, we're a talented squad. We have a, a good mix of between senior players and young lads coming through as well, and there's a good kind of foundation there. So we we knew we have a we knew we had good potential, and thankfully we're kind of living up to it at the moment. And we just gotta keep believing, keeping that faith, and keep going. Hopefully. Hmm. And can you talk about the the rise of my Cullen in recent years? Even under Hurling, I believe you were doing quite well this year. Yeah, we had a great year this year for for both clubs in fairness to the hurlers. I think it was a quarterfinals they got to, or was it just before mm. that preliminary. I think it was, and they 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 put they put in a in fairness. I don't think they were expected to go as far as they did, and they've just kind of a uh, just matched every challenge that faced them, and that kind of that's something we're doing with football now as well. We're just whatever next challenge is, next step, and a uh, next hurdle to get over. And uh, hopefully, we've just been doing that all year, and hopefully, we can do it again someday. And were you always a football man only, or did you ever pick up the stick? I was always a footballer. I, I wore shin guards playing hurling growing up, so I was never I, I was never cut out for it, was I? So uh, uh, it wasn't for me really. And were, did any other sports interest you growing up? I uh, I played I played basketball and soccer as well up till I say about nineteen eighteen. So kind of when I first went in with Galway, I kind of gave up both. So uh, I was kind of I was playing both sports for a while. And would you reckon that both of those sports, basketball and soccer, had a positive impact on your Gaelic football? Oh, definitely. Every sport does. There's you get you could pull something from whatever sport you could you could say whether it's footwork, whether whether it's a in fairness with basketball. There's a big crossover now in a lot in terms of defending one on one defending, a team defending as well, showing them angles, showing them sides, and then even like boxing out and stuff. When high balls come in, your your man's not going to get a kind of get close to a goalie or whatever it is there's there's a good crossover but at the same time it's 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 not the same sport it's you're just you just kind of take little nuggets from both sports and you kind of bring it in and how can it to kind of affect your game yeah and and this weekend the the semi-final against um against glenn from Derry. i'm sure you saw them against kilku they're a very impressive team like yourselves they won, they bought previously won a county title the year before and they went pretty far in ulster and this time they kicked on again they're, they're a serious team Oh, great side! In fairness, we we know we know, we know we're going to have a very tough matchup. And uh, in fairness to them, they like we saw what they did to Kilku. They probably uh, just shows how strong they are. Shows the kind of what they can do to us as well. So we know we're going to have to be up to our like uh, play our best and hopefully then get 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 our the result where that we want. But we know how good they are. And we know how tough to, how tough it will be Sunday. Yeah, and Conor Glass, of course, is the big name, and you know him well from Galway's victory over over Derry in the All Ireland semi final as well. He's he's obviously not the only man you have to shut down, but he is a serious weapon. 
No, exactly. A phenomenal footballer. But as you said, they have they have lads all over the pitch that will threaten and will will look to take you on and look to kick their own scores too. It's a, it's an, it's not one player, and that's what, that's why they are where they are at the moment. So obviously, Connor is a, a phenomenal player, but they also have many more that we know we're going to have to shut down and be be at our best to stop. So uh, we won't we won't take any of them for granted or anything. But it's it's going to be a tough match. And in terms of uh, stealing the lads for playing at Croke Park, like it is completely different to playing at a club venue or even a, a regional, provincial venue, we'll say. W- would many of the lads have played there outside of the likes of yourself and Peter Cook, maybe? A uh, few of the senior players, in fairness, they won a 2008, they won an intermediate final. They're kind of lads now that are kind of just coming nearly to the ends of their careers. But there's lads like Connor Bohan, Mark Lydon, Seamus Freel with like swap goal leaders. Henry Lydon was training with us for a while as well. There's a lot of lads there who's been training with us. And I saw, I say they never thought they'd get back to a, a club all Ireland and especially a senior one now. So there's a lot of experience there with lads, but also a... Uh, Something yeah, we try not to look into it too much. You try not let it affect you, but obviously it is a it's a special occasion, especially for a club to be playing in Crow Park. Uh, but uh, like the old cliche, you play the game, not the occasion. So it's something that you look to. It's just another game of football, really, and try not to let it affect you. But and can you talk to me about the like why have my Colin come in the last few years? Like why what has been the turning point for you? Oh, it's just in fairness, that it's hard hard work by numerous members of the club to be honest with you it's like this this wasn't coming like this didn't just come out of nowhere it's come from the last as you said since the early day intermediate final back in 2008 there's been lads trying to get the best out of best for the club best for the underage and it's something that's still in place it's not like we've reached our goal now obviously we're focused on the win now obviously and get the most out of now but at the same time there's there's ideas from in the back of people's heads how to push on we won another minor this year so there's there's still young lads coming through there's still potential there to kick on again but at the moment it's kind of that win now and hopefully we can we can do that Sunday and push on then and are you expecting what sort of a game are you expect a real physical game open game uh, yeah in fairness I think we match up well in terms of both kind of players similar style a uh, probably who who kind of suits Crow Park the best it's probably a bit of a bigger pitch but they're a physical team they're a good defensive side they also look to express themselves going forward and they're a good running team as well similar to us to be honest so it's going to be a it's going to be a tough matchup, but I think it, in fairness, it, it's it's two similar teams, and it, it, hopefully it'll be a close game, and hopefully we get the right side of the result. Uh, if I could just talk about your your year with Galway, um, how do you how do you reflect on that? I mean, you, you were brilliant at times, the final, you know, brilliant contest, and maybe just got away from me in the last couple of minutes. But how do you look back on the year? Yeah, in fairness, I haven't really even got a chance yet. We're still going, so but like it started this time last year with FBD, and it went in then obviously National League, and I was in between Sigerson and National League at the time, and then we went on with a Connacht run, and then obviously the All Ireland run. So it just shows what what we've kind of been working on. But at the end of the day, we still failed. We still we didn't get over the last hurdle or main goal. We we still we didn't get where we wanted to. So at the same time like do you call it a failure every year you probably you probably could to be honest for us and it's something we want to look to put right now so obviously there's been hard training put in now obviously between gym and pre-season from Galway I haven't been involved now but uh, we're focusing on the club at the moment but like you have to you have to do twice last year to get over the line it's not it's not just oh we've done that already you have to go that extra step now to push on but a uh, looking back on it it's it has been a great year it's been i think i've reached nearly every final life could this year possible so it's it has been a long year but it's also been it has been great and hopefully now we can do it again someday and it's it's not too many years ago under Kevin Walsh that you beat Kerry in the Super 8s and you got to an All-Ireland semi-final and you acquitted yourselves pretty well that day. Do you, like, because you had maybe a disappointment in 2021, like, do you think you exceeded expectations to some people's respect? Like, what, what was the difference? Like, Keane O'Neill, was he a big change in terms of how he played? Yeah, in fairness, like we had we had a tough meeting kind of at the end of the year after 2021, kind of like, because at the end of the day, we all want to be... Like we're here to win, we're here to play in these big matches. You don't want to be falling short anywhere. So it's we were obviously disappointed, but we knew we there was potential in the squad. And in fairness to Porik, he's he's 
kind of brought that he's he's looked on where he can improve where what he can do to get Galway to where where they should be and that was his main goal and it still is his goal to be honest and it's something that lads kind of feed off then they they see what he wants how what he's driving and uh, in fairness to him bringing in Keane O'Neill it was just uh, like it was massive he's he's got years of years of like team getting good teams to finals getting good pedigree as well so it, it, it was a massive nearly say coop i don't know what would you call it but a uh, he was a massive help this year and he's just been kind of bringing players on as well also got our snc coach Jonathan harris Wright came in and he's been a, well, a massive help so like there's the foundations there of a good backroom team and now it's up it's up to players really like they they're putting everything in place so it's up to us to kind of push that on now we get it's 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 not like we're not we're not left asking for anything or anything like that so it's it's up to the players and we know that and it's something we want to we want to do and a couple of years ago jim mcginnis came in and did uh, that session which he of course was summing up in i don't know the apartments around pierce stadium or something took the old video like were you surprised with the fallout of that and also what, what was it like having him for a session yeah not that i even fall out like to understand it's kind of he's a big deal and all that but it just shows like Porek, what he'll do, what he wants from the team. In fairness, what he what he will do to get the most out of us. And in fairness to Jim, like even just from one session, you could see what he like the, the how how much quality he brings and the intensity he brings. So obviously it was only one session and it was only kind of a nearly I uh, just a little pinch of what he does. But uh, from from our stand, it's like from what that's what Porek's willing to do. It's he, he wants the best for us and it's something that we we just kind of we try to answer then and bring that. Okay, so I'm going to do a little quick Q&A, not very serious questions, so answer them as short or as long as you like. What, what do you remember of your first time ever being at Croke Park? It was a uh, 2008, I just, well, probably the top of my head now, it's 2008, the intermediate final with my Cullen, but I was probably there beforehand, but obviously that's just in top of my head at the moment, so obviously uh, going back with the club now, it's special again. Yeah, uh, who's your favourite player of all time? Uh, favourite player of all time... I would have to say just growing up from watching Porek either Michael Meehan lads like that obviously forwards and I'm a bit of a defender now but uh, Thomas Mannion as well I, he actually coached me in under 21s as a defender who was a quality player yeah you could put yourself down as a scoring defender though Who, who's yeah. been your who's been your toughest opponent and why a toughest opponent uh, at the moment probably between either David Clifford Connor Collin obviously just quality like they're they're talented players and there's it's hard to it's it's an easy enough answer between the two of those uh the team you most like to beat this could be club county college a team you most likely to beat with club anyway a probably be Salt Hill just from the amount of games we've had with underage and getting over the line then in the club final this year was a uh, kind of extra sweet yeah uh the your proudest day playing ga proudest day playing a would have to say probably at the moment uh all ireland final with galway at the moment obviously it was a disappointing result but maybe a club all ireland a club all ireland final as well be right up there as well so hopefully we can get there Who's been the biggest influence on your career? Biggest influence would have to be my mother. Uh, she drive, drove, drives me to, I say, every game growing up, whether that's soccer, basketball, football. So it's an easy enough answer. Yeah. And would she be a bit of an expert on the games or does she kind of watch through, you know, through her fingers at matches? Oh, no, she's, I, I wouldn't call her an expert now, but she's in fairness to where she's got into, got into learn football and everything for the amount of games she goes to between myself, Owen and Paul. She's been to every game. So uh, whenever she tells you something, you, you listen to it, to be honest. Uh, what's your favourite stadium? Favourite stadium uh, would have to be Crow Park. No, I've played there a couple of times. It's it's an uh, easy enough answer. What's the biggest disappointment of your career? Biggest disappointment? Could also be the proudest day to be honest, the All Ireland final. Like it's it was there to be won, and we didn't get there then. So obviously, at the moment, it probably would be that we we were just basically a hurdle away, a step away. Who's the joker on the on the Mike Cullen panel, and why? On the Mike Cullen panel, uh, there's a few in fairness. It, it depends now on the day, but uh, I'll go with uh, Connor Corcoran probably. Is he a sneer? Uh, he's only yeah he thinks he can he has a couple of questionable songs now but uh he's a co young cornerback and he likes to talk to talk to be honest okay who's the best trainer best trainer i would give to oh there's a few in furnace a uh, david Wynn, probably senior player just kind of drives that standards and training and a uh, 
knows whether whether to pick it up, whether to lift it, whether he needs to start a fight in training if 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 uh, if it's a bit slack. So he he kind of does all that. Who's the best dressed on the panel? And obviously, best, who's the worst dressed? Best and worst dressed. Oh, there's a few probably now in this question. A uh, best dressed. A uh, own gallery would be disappointed now if I didn't give it to him. He wanted a shout out and a. Uh, Worst dressed then I'll give to Tom Clark as well. Yeah, he's probably just what sort give, of him a, give him to a shout out as well. He's he probably he wants a bit of attention. He thinks he gets nothing. So <laughs> worst dressed we give to him. Uh what player from another sport do you admire? A uh, from another sport, a uh, ah, there's a few in Furness. A uh, I'll what would I say? I'm trying to think now you caught me off guard. A uh, soccer, probably Lena Messi. Uh, yeah, not a bad one. Watch him in the I, World Cup. It's it's an easy enough answer on top of my head as well. But yeah, just a few. I, and then a final question. Uh can you think of a manager in another sport that you admire? Manager in another sport. Uh, oh, I would have to go probably soccer or something. So manager who am I in fairness, maybe oh, it's hard to say. Pep Guardiola or someone like that, and I, I don't really know to be honest, but uh, <laughs> just in, ter- in terms of that intensity, he brings Jurgen Klopp or someone like that, kind of, okay. uh, he, yeah, yeah, shows a bit of a bit of love or whatever you call it, a bit of, yeah, fight. Okay. Well, look, great stuff, Sean, and best of luck at the weekend. Hopefully, we'll chat again soon. Thank you, thanks, William. Cheers.